boys. As you might already know, you probably already noticed this, but for some reason DMM decided to lock in some more countries to prevent them from logging into DMM. And this time I was actually in the target list. In any case, there's this very good GitHub page thingy made by Tilda. Very, very big thanks to Tilda because this solution is actually quite nice. I'll leave it in the description in case you want to read all of this, but I'll summarize everything in this video so you don't really need to read everything. It, and it makes things so much more easier. But basically, we will need two things. Firstly, We'll need to go to this website. It's again the Proton VPN website, and we'll go all the way down. I suggest just using Control F and searching for wire. You'll go over here on WireGuard configuration, and over here we want to get a, a specific file. And to get the specific file, you go over here and you choose one of these servers. I'll choose this one with the 36%, just because it's, it has the less load in it, so probably it will give less problems in the future, so I'll pick that one. It will generate a text file, you just download this text file somewhere, I'll just put it on my download folder, and there we got it. Easy. First step done. Let's continue. Second step, we need to get this program. It's called Tunnel2, it will be very useful for what we're doing. Just click this first file, just download the installer, we'll put it in the downloads folder again, and there you go, very simple. Now let's actually start installing Tunnel 2 because we will need this. Just click next, don't really need to worry about anything, and you can launch it right after. Once Tunnel 2 is open, just click on install Wiresock, it should be quite, quite quickly. And once it is installed, just click on the create tunnel. And over here, we will be importing our previous configuration file we downloaded from the Proton VPN website. So just click import, get your config file and over here you just scroll down and over here where it says apps we need to actually put in the dmm website not website sorry the dmm client and the dmm fast launcher in case you use it so let's go to this website over here because it's already uh, written down that way you don't actually need to write it yourself just click just copy the dmm game player place it over here. You do have to separate them with a column, so just put a column and hit enter. And since I use DMM Fast Launcher, I will also be copying this one and paste. And that should be everything. We click save and we click enable. And now I am connected to the supposedly tunnel or well, kind of VPN kind of thing. Now I shouldn't have any problems launching Princess Connect. Let's first test it out with DMM and see if it opens. As you can see, it opens without any problem. And the game also, of course, since DMM is already open, will also open without any kind of problem. And testing it out with DMM Fast Launcher, as you can see, no problems also. And the, games, and the game also launches without any kind of problem. Very, very nice. Now, the really only last thing you might want to do, this is an optional thing, of course, but if you want to, you could go to the settings and turn on auto start and auto minimize on start. And you would choose to auto connect to that one configuration you just set up. That way, whenever you start your computer, you don't even see the program and you don't even have to do anything and it will automatically just connect to that one tunnel. And that way you can just start Princess Connect like nothing ever happened. And that's basically it. It's very simple. It's actually really, really painless and it makes it so much more better than having to deal with the VPN all the time. Because for me, I'm not sure if it happens to you guys, but whenever I try using the soft ether VPN, sometimes it doesn't really work the connection. So yeah, this is an amazing solution. And again, thank you so much to Tilda for coming up with this solution. It's actually amazing. In any case, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As always, thank you so much for the memberships. And I'll see you guys on the next one.